My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. Hello, I am Flash Isaac and you are welcome to Flash Learners. Today, I shall be taking you through Introduction to Physics. Introduction to Physics. When you hear the word physics, what comes to your mind? Science students or a subject? Physics is simply a subject or a branch of science that studies natural phenomena. In the other word, physics studies the things around us. Out of the various subjects like biology that studies life in living things or that looks at living and non-living things, or chemistry that studies the composition, properties, and uses of matter, or commerce that studies buying and selling, plus other activities that aid buying and selling. No one touches natural phenomenon like physics. So, by definition, we say that physics is a branch of science that studies the nature and properties of matter and energy. Now look at this. Chemistry is the study of the CPU of matter. C for composition, P for properties and you for uses. Physics, on the other hand, studies matter and energy. We can therefore say that physics is the study of matter in relation to energy. It takes big look at the nature and properties of matter. On the board, we have about four wells four major keywords, nature, properties, matter, and energy. Nature means what is matter like? What form does matter take? How does this matter appear and behave? And properties simply mean how does, what are the various features? of matter. What are the characteristics of matter? We are not just dealing with matter when it comes to physics, we are also dealing with energy. Now let's see how matter or energy relates or how they define. Matter is anything that has mass. Not just having mass and as well occupy space. This is matter. If you have anything, so long it has mass and it occupies space. Mass refers to how much substance, how much material is in an object. In other words, mass is referred to as the quantity of matter in an object. So if something has mass and occupies space, we say this is matter. A lot of persons confuse the word mass and weight. Weight. Raising this airport pro 2 up, what I am feeling is weight, not mass. Because since I'm raising it up, there is a force that is bringing it down, that is acting on it, making it look heavier than it actually is. That is referred to as gravity. Anything that goes up will come down because there is a force that is pushing everything up downwards. We call that the force of gravity or you say g acceleration due to gravity in meters per second square so every object has its own mass when you raise it gravity acts on it and we say this is the weight of this so weight itself is the mass of any object times gravity mass is measured in kilogram and the mass of every object remains the same 
If you take this to the moon, anywhere, the mass will remain the same. But weight depends on gravity. Gravity on Earth is different from the one on moon or other planet. So once gravity change, the weight will change. What is heavy on Earth may not be so 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 heavy in another place where gravity is lower. So mass is in kilogram. If I say the mass of an object is two kilogram, it remains. But if you raise this object up to get the weight of that object, you multiply the mass by gravity. Let's take gravity to be 10 meters per second square. So if g is 10 meters per second square, it means for any object with mass 2 kg, the weight as w will be the mass 2 kg times the gravity 10 meters per second square. So that will give you 20 kilogram meters per second square. This is weight or force. So instead of saying this long thing, the weight is 20 kilogram meters per second square, we simply say Newton, capital N, as the capital of weight or force. Ladies and gentlemen, so matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. How about energy? Energy is generally referred to as antimatter. It's anything that does not have mass and it does not occupy space. So energy does not have mass, it does not occupy space. What are examples of matter? This, your board, your car, your sound, water, air, all these are matter. How about energy? Light, sound, all these are energy. Those ones, they do not have mass. So, physics is a branch of science that studies the nature and properties of matter and energy. Everything you shall be looking at under physics studies matter and energy. Why matter itself is, is made up of atoms. So these are the composition of matter. If this is matter, if you break this down to the smallest, the smallest, smallest, smallest possible is atom. So which means the unit of matter is atom. Just like in biology, you be told that the unit of life is cell. And when cell, similar cell, or cell performing specific function come together, they form tissue. So take cell to be atom. Now these atoms are so unstable, they cannot exist on their own. So they have to come together, or they, they have to exist in a stable state, referred to as molecule. So take molecule to be tissue, like in biology, where similar atoms come together, they form molecule. For example, if I give you Cl, this is chlorine, an element. We shall look at all of this with time and even more in chemistry. So since this is an atom, it is the simplest unit of this element. It cannot exist on its own. So it will need another chlorine to join so that they can exist on their own or independently. So when atoms combine, they form molecules. So what is a molecule? Molecule is the smallest part of a substance that is capable of independent existence and still retain the property of that substance. The smallest part of a substance that can exist on its own while uh, retaining the, proper, the properties of that particular substance. So, introduction to physics. This will be it. In the next episode, we shall be looking at the building up measurements, units. How do we come about measuring quantities? This mass of a thing. How do we measure mass? How do we know that, okay, the mass is 2 kg? What are the instruments for measuring mass? So what is this? What are quantities? What are derived quantities? So physics is going to be very, very interesting. And I promise to make it interesting and as simple as ABC to you. I hope you enjoyed this introduction. Welcome on board. Welcome to Flash Learners. See you in the next class.